What's going on, Machine Masters family? This is MG The Future bringing you another exclusive Machine Masters tutorial. Um, today I'll be with Tommy D, and we'll be going over the new Childish Gambino song, Me and Your Mama. Um, in the intro of the song, it's a pretty captivating um, EP slash bellish type chords and arpeggio. Um, there's a lot of delay, a lot of distortion. Um, I just found a nice EP in Machine um, to cover that part that Tommy D put together the other chords and layers from the choir to substitute the woman's voice. Um, and there's also a really cool Moog lead. However, with Monarch and Machine, I can only get the texture this close and I complemented it with the UAD Moog filter. So I'm gonna show you guys that. But first things first, let's break this down piece by piece. Um, let's start with the keys in the ARP. This sound here, it's just a Mark One. It comes with Machine 2.5. Put the replica classic ping pong and a room reverb on it. See how that sounds by itself. Next up, we're gonna have the choir. It's just a sample that comes in the machine library. It's called Female Choir. Next part's gonna be Monarch for the lead. And I turned it down quite a bit so it doesn't screech. And the bass line's also Monarch. So those are all the elements. I try to use all machine elements so you guys can try this yourself. So there's the Monarch sub yup patch, the MK1 EP, the Wave female choir or under the instruments layer, and a Monarch lead called Smoothed. Um, the tricky part about these type of beats are in a different time signature. I believe some of you said it's like six eights, right? Mm -hmm. So it's on a six eight time signature. So here at the top of the screen, you could type in three fourths which is simply a simplification of 6.8. Um, I put a little swing on it. It's 119 beats per minute. And then on the drums, it's a real simple kit. Um, you're gonna hear a snap that I layered together. Basically, I linked them together. So they both trigger at the same time. It's a real soft kick to sit on top of the sub bass. There's some shaker action going on, off beat a little bit, you'll notice. There's a really obnoxious triplet hi-hat steady pattern. That's the drum pattern I'm going to emulate. And there's like a vibra slap or a gyro, but they're using a different gyro. So I'm just using a vibra slap. And this is another shaker, so it can alternate. And basically, I think these are all Velvet Lounge drum kits, but you could just use the Machine 2.0 stock library to get the same drum sounds, if not better. And then at the end, we have an organ that also comes with Machine from the Vintage Organs. It's one of the basic gospel organs. And then we have a guitar. If I'm not mistaken, the guitar is going through God's Love MC on guitar rig effects that comes with Machine. So you can build this whole track yourself via Machine. Um, pretty simple. I believe the whole track, if I'm not mistaken, is in C major. So I'm taking you a look through some of these keys real quick. The first note's D. It looks like it ends out on A. Same story with the lead. The choir is pretty simple. And the EP, the part that's um, where Tommy D's playing the arpeggio. And those are the chords, it's two chords. So I'm gonna play this back from the beginning and let you guys check this out in full context. Let's check it out.
So that's part's pretty simple. And then you notice when the song picks up and he actually starts putting his verse together or when he starts um, rapping or singing, it turns into this kind of prog rock, psychedelic rock type thing. And it does a lot of time signature switches um, from odds to evens. But we just kept it odds for this part. Um, did some chords for the organ, let you hear that. And then I'm gonna let Tommy D freestyle some um, lead guitar. So let's do it as a transition. All right, I'm gonna let him freestyle the rest of it pretty much. And you just add some pitch bins and mod wheels to it to kind of bring it to life. I believe this main patch is just a prism here, preset. Yeah. Cool, run it back one last time. <laughs> so essentially the track's pretty cool i wanted to break it down and show you guys each individual element of analyzing this track um childish gambinos from his new album song entitled me and your mama um it's pretty simple it's only about four or five elements um the drums change up a little bit but a lot of that swing and groove is coming from the fact that it's under a three four time signature instead of a four four um, the coolest part about the track is when it starts switching time signatures back and forth. Um, in my opinion, that might be more of a job at this moment for Ableton Live because it will allow you to uh, name your clips 4-4 four, four, and 3-4 and switch between time signatures on the fly. But when you start getting into like Logic and Machine, that's a little bit trickier to cope with. Although you can kind of do math or substitutions under 4-4 four, four at all times and just use triplets, but what fun is that? Um, anyway, this was by request of some of the guys in the comment section that wanted me to do a Childish Gambino walkthrough um, with the help of Tommy D. Um, you can catch both of us on Instagram. Also, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and join the Machine Masters if you haven't already. Um, we plan on doing quite a few new uh, courses soon, especially with the Machine Jam. And we're also putting together a sample pack soon for all the machine or just sample base users which should be available sometime in December. But once again, thank you for joining us at the Machine Masters. Until next time.